We're here at the La Quinta Inn in Springfield, Missouri, and today we're going to do a room tour of room 319. One of these older style key card readers. Yeah. Now the room was dark when I came in here, so I've turned on some lights. So looking right away, we have a latch, we have the people, we have the deadbolt. So we are solid on security here. Coming into here, you have you have your iron and hair dryer. You got some hanging space. You've got the luggage rack to put where whatever whatever you brought in whatever you bring in for luggage. You've got the ironing board to go with the iron up there. And now taking a look at the room, one of the things I've already noticed is that there is a separate sink from the bathroom area. Some cases that's nice, other cases that's not. Depends on what your preference is. So coming over here, we're just gonna work our way through. Here's the sink. They give you some complimentary coffee and cups in the coffee maker. Everything looks nice and clean, which is good. There you go. Hi there. We got Kleenex down here. Detail check. Looks like they nailed it. Looks like you got some wear and tear from here, but that's to be exp from the sink, but that's to be expected. We got soap, makeup remover, which naturally I don't need. Let's see if we got any hot water. Taking a while to get warm because it's not warm yet. Hopefully, it'll get warm here shortly. I'm going to give it a while just because we're on the top floor and it might have not run in a while. In the meantime, here's a look into the bathroom, which I forgot to turn on the light for. Now, one of the things that I already noticed that I don't particularly like is this is the only humidity control and there is no fan in there at all. So this could get really humid. I am not a big fan of that. Here's the toilet. The toilet is clean. I can see it. A little minor speck there, but that's just dirt. Nothing serious. Got the bath mat over here, which is interesting. Speaking of bath, here's the shower and the mat and this things just fell over. I'm going to put them somewhere like right here. Caulking actually looks pretty decent. Just kind of looking around here. A little, little wear right there, but yeah, this is looking not too bad. We got some, I can't think of the word for that. On the shower head, but in the meantime, let's see if it's a decent pressure. Mm, it's hard to move over. I don't want to get the camera wet. Oh dear, this could. Okay, we do have warm water now, so I can go take the sink off. Okay, the pressure from there looked pathetic, but the shower head is pretty good on pressure. Yeah, we are plenty warm now. It just needed some time to come from downstairs. Bathroom is really good. The floor is clean. This, I have mixed feelings about. Because I'm here by myself, it's probably not that big a deal. But if somebody wants to, somebody accidentally walks in here, that could be problematic. I've, I've seen it happen. All right, here's a look into the bedroom. You got the, this is a La Quinta Inn and Suite, so you got the connection between this room and the next room over, which happens to be 317. Actually, no, it's 321. 317's over there. You got a little thermostat here, which is set to off. It's actually pretty comfortable in here as it is, so it's probably not necessary to have it running. We got a microwave. 
Microwave is spotless. Now th this here kind of leaves me scratching my head because normally I would expect it to be cold when I come into the room so I can like put a beer in here or something. Mm. Temperature's pretty decent. It's just turned down a little sweaty, but it's clean. That's really about all that matters. Little cons... Little condensation on the ice maker though, but they missed some things around the edges. Like I can see, like you, it's hard to see on camera, but there's a little bit of dirt right in there around the edges and in the and in the back. So could have probably done a little bit better on job on this, but overall not too bad. Tabletops are clean, a little grimy, but that's probably just from the cleaner. Here's the TV. The chair is clean, otherwise I wouldn't have... The chair is clean, I checked that when I first came in here. Because otherwise I wouldn't have set my stuff on it if it wasn't. You got, a de you got a desk area here. You got one, and you got a second phone over there. You got two phones. Here's some lights. This is one of those dual color lights where you have one that's... Bright. Actually, no, I think those two are the same. Interesting. You got your vanity. That's not in the bathroom. Never seen that before. That's a, that's a first. Just looking around the room here. Looks like they did get some attention to detail. That's just paint. These lights are in very good shape. I'll turn this one back on. Yeah, that's really good. Now, here's the nightstand. Here's your TV remote. It looks like you can order room service from it because you got an order button here, which is interesting. Interesting alarm clock. I've never seen one of these before. QB Blue. Hmm. Second phone. There's your free Wi Fi instructions. Now, on to the most important thing the beds. Let's start with, oh, before I, go, before I do, I should sh check the drawers here. Clean, looks like we got a safe here. Now it's closed. And then to open it, there's the code. Opened. Instructions. But then again, I figured it out as it what already. So that's so that's that's another nice to have. Looking again at the floor, it looks pretty clean. Let me just just before we get to the beds though. Okay, good. You can't you can't shove anything under them. And I'm not gonna bother trying to lift the whole bed up like the, another dirty room does because this room is thankfully not too dirty so far. So I'm, I'm pretty hopeful for this bed, just looking at this. Looks like we have a little bit of a stain right here, but it looks like that's old. Hasn't come out. Probably just hasn't come out. You got a comforter, because it's winter time. You know, very, these are very heavy sheets. Looking at the bed, this is one of the cleanest beds I've seen in a while. No hair anywhere. You got the pillows. Um, let me think here. Eh. This one's not that good. Let me try this one. Yeah, I got two out of three pillows that are decent. Actually, no, this one's probably the best one. Then this one, and then the... Actually, no, this one's worse than this one. But still, everything's clean. That's probably what matters the most here. Let's take a look underneath here. Yeah, this is looking really good. Oh, that looks like has been... No, that's old. That's been there for a while. And we cannot get into the mattress because it's... Vacuums. Zipped. And you can see that there's the zipper right here, so... I think that's about all the further we can go. 
Interesting. I'm not. I'm not sure. I've. I've never. I've never seen this before. I'm not sure if that's for bed bug prevention or what. Headboard is a little bit scratched. It doesn't leave the best impression, but it's still okay. Not that big of a deal to pick on here. Now, but the, it's more or less the cleanliness of the beds that's the mess. Ooh, there's a good pillow. That one's okay. Okay, I think I see what it goes. This is soft, medium, firm. This bed looks clean. I don't see any hair anywhere here. Comforter is very heavy, which is nice, especially this time of year. And let's just lint something from. Oop! I found a hair. But thankfully, it's just one hair out of these two beds, so. It's still a lot better than some of the other hotels that I've stayed in recently. Anyway, just looking around the room here, the beds are clean. Everything's in good shape. The fridge is a little bit bad, but not terrible. The bathroom is great. I think this is probably one of the rooms I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I don't normally give that very often, but they did a good job with this one. And before we go, I want to, I want to check out a couple more things here. Because I showed the thermostat, but I didn't actually show the, the unit. Now here's what I don't know. Is this control, the, okay, so this works. Is this over here control that or not? It's worth finding out. Okay, that's pretty neat. So you can adjust the thermostat from either the unit itself or from that thermostat over there. So that's really neat. I've never seen something like that before. set it to what I want for the night. Eh, I'll decide later what I want to do. Let's take a look outside because I'm curious to see if these windows open. And the window is seamless so that would be a no. But either way this is still one of the nice rooms. I stand behind the five out of five that I give it. And with that being said, thank you for watching. That is all.